and welcome back to the channel on this video there's keith he's riding my how's it going you guys what are you riding i've uh, got the cafe cruiser there we go and it's by ride one up ride one up and i'm riding the lyric graffiti with a new back tire after 2,000 miles it was time to change it out but the front tire is still good so we're going to leave that one i have two tires but i only put the one on because there's no sense changing this yet there's yeah. too much tread and you got two tires you might need the extra tire for the rear tire again so exactly for the front tire wears out so. so on this video not only do we have a new tire on here but we both have bells. we have bells now <laughs> so we're well equipped so here we go for a little quick ride testing out the new tire making sure it's on properly and all looks good to me got it pumped up good and hard the uh the recommended uh, uh psi is 30 so i did right up to 30 on the uh, tire uh, both front and back so maybe a little bit rougher on bumps but uh we'll have a little more speed and range A little bit cooler today. We're not um, gonna get as warm. I think it's supposed to be only low 80s today, like barely over 80, 82 or something like that. So a lot more um, pleasant. Uh, and for this upcoming week, we're supposed to have temperatures just under 80 or right around 80. So uh, that sounds almost perfect for uh, bike riding. So these tires, I wanted to talk a little bit, CST, big boat tires. I was able to purchase these off of a website and I hope I get this right because I don't want to give the wrong address. But uh, Surface 604, I believe, I will leave a link in the description. I got the tires for $30 each plus uh, a $15 shipping charge so the two tires and the shipping for $75 and the company is out of Canada and a uh, pretty darn good deal these tires aren't the thickest tires in the world but I gotta tell you for street riding they're good I've had no uh, issues I've had a few flat tires but uh, in the past, but use some flat out and it'll help you out there with that and Yeah, I was about 2,000 miles on the, the last tires and like I said, I didn't change out the front tire. So we're still We're still going on it And I'm surprised I got that far on the uh, tires. I remember when I had the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly and those stock tires. Uh, I only got 700 miles or, or just a little over 700. I think it was less than 750 anyway. And I thought, God, that that's not very many miles, you know, for, for a set of tires. That's terrible. And so having these ones get me 2,000, I probably could have went a little more. I mean, the tread wasn't right off the tires or anything, but it was wearing. And so it's a good time now to change it up. And like I say, I just left the front tire. And we seem to be uh, running fine here.
So I would recommend these tires if you're looking for a tire that's more of a a street tire and you're not doing much like off-road, they're not really an off-road tire, they're more for a street or a, like a paved bike path or trail. Um, these tires would be good. It, I think they're only, uh, I don't know if they have a larger size, but these ones are the 20 by four inch. And um, like I say, these were the original tires on the bike. Uh, so I went with those again because I had pretty good luck. They're not the thickest uh, tires in the world, they're, but for 30 bucks and getting at least a couple of thousand miles, perfectly fine in my books. So I will leave a link in the description for these CST Big Boat tires. And uh, $30 each and $15 shipping. I don't know if the shipping price is any different if you buy one or two, but I bought two, but I still have the one because after looking at the front tire tread, I thought, you know, I'm gonna be able to go at least another probably a thousand miles on that tire. There's lots of tread still left. Before we end this video, when I get to a stop here, I'm going to take the uh, camera off of the selfie stick and I want to show you the tire, the new tire. The only difference between this tire and the tires that were originally on the bike is uh, these new tires, or the one I put on the back at least, has a reflective stripe on it, white stripe, and I actually uh, kind of like that because it gives a little added um, visibility for you being seen in the uh, night, any night riding. So we're just going to come up here and then we're going to stop and show you the new tire.
Wait, I went down the wrong street. So next time. Oops. I'm going to, uh, I was just saying on the video here, I'm going to take the camera off and show them the uh, tire. Okay. And I'll show the front tire and how much tread I still have. And you'll see it. I went down the wrong street. It's this street that I want. A little more shade over here. Okay, so we're now off the bike and I wanted to show you the rear tire. So there it is right there with the new, uh, this is the new CSD big boat tire and you can see the tread on that. And I'm gonna show you here the reflective uh, stripe on there. So the old tire, as I'm gonna show you right here, is still on the front, I still have an old tire. And you can see it's just a solid black. There's no stripe on there. And then here's a look at the tread. There's still quite a bit of tread on there and I think I'm gonna be able to get another thousand miles or so since I've already gotten 2,000 off that tire. And if not, I do have another tire um, that I can change it out with. But that's a look at the uh, their graffiti one more time with its new back tire. And there's another look at the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. <clears throat> Sounds like I'm losing my voice. There's Keith right there. How's it Thanks going? for joining us, Keith. Yeah. And if you uh, want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining Keith and I on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.